So what's up guys I'm Match from TechMatch and hope you are doing well. So today I will show you that how you can check if your PC will run Windows 11. So to check that you need to have TPM. You need to have TPM enabled in your device. So just search here tpm.msc and then you would find a window like this. And in my case it is saying TPM could not be found. So if you are also seeing something like that and you know that your PC is recent then i will show you that how you can enable the tpm in your device so you can check it through this tpm.msc or you can also download an app from microsoft by going to this link get pc health check app okay i will also put it in the description below so don't forget to check it out so just go to this link and this windows pc file will be downloaded and you need to install this software okay so you just let me install the software and now just let me open the software as well so as you can see i have now opened this pc health okay health check so here you can see introducing windows 11 and check now so if you just click on check now here then it would say that if your pc will support windows 11 or not so it is saying we this pc doesn't currently meet windows 11 system requirement so the tpm is missing tpm 2.0 is missing so for older pc you might not have tpm at all and you may buy a tpm module for your motherboard if it supports it and for newer pc you should definitely have the tpm so now just let me restart my computer and i have to go to my bios so the bios key could be different for motherboard to motherboard so for my case it is dell as you can see if i just keep pressing on the delete button then i can go to uh, my bios and for your case if you don't know your bios key then follow the video in the i button so now uh, we are in our bios key of gigabyte motherboard so the interface could be different for manufacturer to manufacturer so in your case it could be like easy mode and uh, it could be like something like this and if you are in easy mode then you need to go to advanced mode by clicking this option in your gigabyte motherboard okay so the interface is different but the main thing is also same so don't worry about that so in by going to your motherboard bios then here you might have only one option so then i need to go to settings so for other manufacturer you need to maybe go to boot option okay i would also put some popular motherboards how you can enable those options so the settings could be different for manufacturer to manufacturer so i need to go to miscellaneous okay in my settings option so just let me go here so in my miscellaneous option here and uh, i need to go to trusted computing okay so you can see the trusted computing is at the bottom and i would also put some of the screenshot of different motherboard if you have other motherboard then how you can what the option could be for you so just let me go to the trusted computing here okay so after going here then sorry for the yellow and the white combination it is really hard to see you need to enable this option okay security you need to enable this option and then just press escape to go back and then here you need to also enable intel platform trust technology okay so if you have an intel motherboard then you need to enable it and for amd motherboard i would also try to put something in this screenshot or i would also put some a good article link for how other bios or other motherboard or other device what the option could be for you guys if you don't use a gigabyte motherboard and the intel processor like i am so after doing these two settings then you need to just click on save and exit okay so just let me go here and then if i just press yes you can also see that why what i have modified it is showing me that i have modified this option okay so it was disabled and i enabled it intel trust platform trust technology and now if i just press on yes then the configuration will be saved and my pc will reboot okay so just let me do that so now we have saved our settings so i will now try to put some uh, so don't forget to check the description because in i don't have other devices other motherboard and other processors with me so i have only showed you the gigabyte option if you have a gigabyte motherboard 
so if you have other motherboard then i would put some of the popular brands and how you can enable those uh, tpm in those brand as well so don't forget to check the description okay so now we have restarted our computer and now i would go back to my screen recording so now just let's check again if we just type here tpm.msc again just let me type it and if we open it you can see that it is saying tpm found okay tpm manufacturer and the specified version is 2 so we have tpm2 in our device and it is now enabled so this is a good thing so now let's double check it by going to the windows pc health pc health check app so just let me open the pc check health check app so now here if we just click on check now option again we should go get the green light so just let me show you so wait so here as you can see this pc meets windows 11 requirements so we have enabled it and now we can easily install windows 11 on our pc so if you are interested on how you can do that then don't forget to watch the next video where i have showed you how you can install your windows 11 on your windows 10 pc so if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you have any question or any suggestion then let me know that in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one. So I am Mesh from TechMesh and I am signing out.